right, Nick Iannotti with Casual Furniture Solutions once again. Uh, today we're going to be doing the, uh, the deployment cord or the open cord. Uh, there's two different ways to do this. Um, the first way, if you're lucky, you'll still have your cord available, the broken end of the cord, available to, uh, to mend the new cord to it. So basically to do that, you're going to want to push the black nylon back a little bit so you can get I call them the horse hairs you're gonna to want to cut these little the white hair off they're tricky and then sometimes they want to get cut sometimes they don't there we go. and then pull that black casing back down over it and then do that on the same do the same cord just push that up a little bit cut off the white part and then slide the black back over the white part of it and then get a lighter and then you're just basically going to melt the two ends together Or if you wanted to, you could stitch these together like that and then pull it through, which I'll be doing shortly. It is still cold here in Rochester. Ah. So we're melting the black nylon together to basically form one cord like that. It's not going to be the best seal, but it should hold going through here. So now all you need to do is crank this up a little bit and this cord's attached down here. And this tooth is where the end of that cord goes. So pull that out, get in here, and you should be able to pull this gently through the whole umbrella and get it out right here. So if you're one of the lucky few to be able to do this, then skip to the end of the video where we tie everything off. Uh, if you can't do that, I'll show you the other way how to take this whole thing apart and pull it all the way through. So again, if you're able to do that, then you're lucky. And that's the way to do it because it makes it a lot easier. So we'll start fresh and new as if there's no cord on the inside. All right, so for those who can't pull that cord all the way through, uh, let's take the, uh, take the umbrella off the base and, uh, and get into it. Gonna loosen up these uh, two bolts down here to get the uh, main mast off the uh, to get the main mast off of the uh, hub and the um and the umbrella base. We're just gonna pick it straight up and then uh, lay it on the ground. Then we're going to loosen the bolts up on the main grip. Now this is where you got to be really careful not to have the pulleys um, go everywhere. There's there's like four or five pulleys inside of this uh, the grip, and uh, if you lose all that, I have instructions right on the web page. But just be careful with it because it could turn into a mess. So we're going to loosen them up from the bottom because we want to keep the uh, keep the bolts inside the the grip. And just remove the nuts. They're going to want to fall out, but you want to do it this way so the bolts remain up. Okay. And then 
set that on the ground. And then just take this uh, side straight up. So now you'll see the pulleys on the inside. Um, the rope is going to run. There's a pulley inside here. Then it's going to run in front of this white one, and then in the middle, and then down. I'll, we'll get a close up of that uh, as, as it gets closer here. So, um, so right now I'm just going to take this wheel off, the pulley off. and then get it behind the white pulley in here. And then just slide it up the pole. And then we'll take the, uh, take the hinge apart as soon as we get this close to the top here. So just speed that up. Feel it hitting the top so we're all the way there all right so now let's move down to the hinge and uh, get this opened up and then just always keep in mind that is open and that could fall apart at any second other side has a little cotter pen in it. That you need to pop out. And then it also has a 13 millimeter uh, socket that you'll need. And remember, not to lose all the pulleys down there. that off let's pull this hinge straight up it gets a little sticky on there and there are pulleys on the inside of here as well so just be careful with that so apparently it wasn't all the way to the top so we'll just keep pushing this up until it comes out it around this pulley and then there's a pulley on the inside of here you want to push that right down in there and then feed the end of that and it's gonna come out the end of there and you can pull that down a little bit so let's reattach this hinge And there are some bushings in here that you want to line up and make sure those are in place. And then the uh, this bolt goes right through that. You just got to line everything up to make sure the pulleys don't fall out of place.
just gonna tighten this bolt up for now, and then we'll work down. All right, so now we got that bolt on, or the nut tied on with this. Let's go back down to the uh, uh, to the main grip and get all that back together, and then, uh, and then we can start tightening everything down. Um, so we're gonna come down here, and um, if you look at the way the pulleys are set up, uh, so we've got the rope going behind this pulley that's on the inside of the uh, of of the tilt lever. It's gonna go in front of the white pulley, and then behind this one. And the instructions are, I have a, um, a diagram right on my webpage that you can download. It's a PDF file, and uh, it gives a, a better description of, of that. Sometimes it gets a little tricky to get that through here, so what you can do is just pull this pin up, and then just pop this little pulley out, and then just kind of put it in the channel here. There's a channel that the, the rope goes in, and then just kind of pop it back into place and put the pin in. And then let's, uh, let's put the grip back on. So we're gonna set this in place and then I like to try to tip it up um, on its side a little bit so the, the, so the bolts don't fall out. And uh, so we'll just kind of get this in, set into place like that. And then let's rotate it over while we're holding it all together. I don't want that to get loose. And then just get your drill. Oh, I did lose one. Just take it and put it back in though. Go. Let's get one of these going here so it holds it in place. There's that. And then let's go to the front side here. Okay, now that we got two in place, we can get the other two in pretty easily. Oh, I almost lost one there. Okay. So that's all tightened down, now we don't have to worry about the pulleys falling out. Let's come back up to the top, tighten that last bolt with the nut, and then we'll put it up on the on the base. Let's flip this over, that's a little bit easier. millimeter wrench. And then don't forget that little cotter pin that holds it all in place. Come around here. Pop that in and then let's put it up on the uh, on the base. that we got it up on the base you can see that the, uh, the rope that we have going through the the, uh, the hinge there and the rope down here you can kind of pull it back and forth and it slides right through uh, so let's start tying it off and this is kind of where if you were able to pull that cord through and mend it together this is kind of where you want to jump back in so um, I guess let's just start down here so let's crank the uh, umbrella up a little bit so we can get to the uh, loop lock stopper behind it uh, let's just take this off here. It's just one bolt to hold that. Grab a screwdriver real quick and pop that out. Go. 
So that's the end that you'll tie onto this. And this is where one of the ends of the ropes go. So we just want to pop this out real quick. Don't need that anymore. And then you're going to go through the back side of the loop lock stopper. Sometimes you just give it a little twist and it'll go. So that's that. And then you go through the front side. And then give it a, give it a knot here. Again, I do a, a loop. Then I twist it and then come through. That always seems to be a pretty good knot. All right, so let's stick that. There's a little hole inside here where the, the end of the rope goes. So we'll stick that right in there. You pull the loop lock stopper and put it in place. So that's tight. Now we'll just pull the excess that was in there up. And then you can pull this down so that'll tighten everything back up. That's that. All right, so that's tied to the umbrella. Now what you're going to want to do is tie it off to the center runner here. So you'll unscrew this little cap at the bottom that holds a, uh, a light if you wanted to uh, attach one of their uh, uh, Vega lights. And uh, there's two Phillips screws on that one. So we'll just undo these. So that just pops off and pulls off the bottom there. Then we're going to look inside here. There should be some rope that you can just pull right down. And there's also the, the, uh, the block there, the cord block. There should be a spring up inside of here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's stuck up there pretty good. So we'll just leave that in place and then we're going to feed this end of the rope right down the hole on the inside here. Actually, make sure that you're going, the rope stays on the inside of all the ribs. I almost had it around here and it wouldn't, uh, you know, you tie it off and then it won't open properly. So make sure you have it in the proper area. We're going to just push this up a little bit to give us a little bit of working room. So we're going to feed this cord block in here. And we're just going to give it a quick knot. We're going to adjust the, uh, the height of the umbrella in two seconds here. So now that we have a, a, a loose knot on it, let's crank it all the way up. This will open up, and then we want to just adjust the height of the uh, or the length of the cord on it, so we get a proper fit. So we'll just open this up. Okay. Now I have it all the way cranked up on this side. See how it doesn't connect all the way up into here? So we're gonna lower it a little bit, and we need to take about oh six inches of of uh, cord and uh, make it a little bit shorter. Again, we're going to take about six inches or so cord off of it. And then we're going to repeat this process until we find the right height. And then again, just crank it up a little bit. All right, that's exactly where we want it. 
So let's just lower it down to a little a better working height. And then uh, I'm just gonna cut some of this cord off. Just so it's not all in there. Is that? I might actually put a double knot on this one. Just to be on the safe side. Put that little cap back on. Screwdriver. There's that cap. Just want to line the, the holes up on it. Push, you can push this back up and give it a couple turns and that locks in place. I'm just going to give it one more test run just to make sure it sits properly. That's the right height we want it. Now we can lower it down and it comes all the way back. That's where you can tie it up. So as you can see if you are able to pull that cord through and mend it it's so much easier to be able to do it that way versus um, having to go through all the whole grip and then running up the pole and all that. So hopefully that helps you out. If you need any parts or anything like that, it's casualfs.com. Sorry, www.casualfs.com. And, uh, and that's it.